Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you have been here before, welcome back. If you haven't been here before, welcome. My name is Shannon. So today we're gonna do a kind of a different video. I thought I would come on and actually do a get unready with me. I know the typical videos are get ready with me. And yeah, you see a lot of those all the time. So I thought it would be fun to actually do a get unready with me and show you some of the products that I use each night, kind of when I'm taking my makeup off, which is one of my most favorite parts of the day, even though I love makeup, I love to come home and actually take it off and give my skin a break at night. So we're going to do that together. I think it's going to be lots of fun. Of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and you can hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on any of my future videos and also the bell if you actually want to get notifications for when my videos go live. But that's all I'm going to say and let's get right into the video. All right guys, so I'm back. So my hair probably looks pretty ratchet. I have it pulled back just for the purposes of this video so you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm not gonna say a lot about the products. Um, their products, I think I've some of them I've probably mentioned before, but the first one I'm gonna use is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Palm. I know I have mentioned this in one of my skincare videos, I believe. I'll throw that up in the cards for you guys in the corner if you wanna check that out. Um, this is a great product. I've had this for a few months. It definitely lasts a long time. And it's definitely one of my favorites for taking like heavy eye makeup or waterproof mascara off. It literally just melts makeup off your face and you guys will see that as I apply it. So I'm gonna take, so I'm just gonna open it up. So this is what it looks like. So it's just the palm. And I'm gonna take quite a bit on my fingers. So I took about that much. You can probably take less if you want to. I like to take a good amount when I have a lot of makeup on. So I'm gonna put this in these fingers and you can see how easy it kind of breaks down. I'm gonna dab that all over my face, on my eye area. And you don't need any water or anything on your face while you're doing this. You can go in dry and it's really good around the eye area. It doesn't hurt or sting my eyes and I actually wear contacts. So that's something that I have to really watch out for. I'm going to take my brows off as well. Aren't I looking good? <laughs> I know I look pretty scary, but you can actually see the effect it has on the makeup and how easy it is to remove. And I really like to go in a lot around my eye area to get all the mascara off. If I really want to make sure I get my mascara off, I always use this. So I'm going to go down my neck with this a bit as well. Over my lips, if you are a lip, liquid lipstick wearer, this helps remove any liquid lipstick. I'm gonna do those brows again. So once you get that all done, you can actually go in with just like a clean, dry cloth. You don't actually need to wet it. Or I actually like to go in with the Marcel Makeup Removing Cleansing Cloths. I'm not sure if you can get these in the States, but they are available in Canada. And these are micellar ultra gentle wipes. They're alcohol-free, biodegradable, paraben-free, perfume-free, and hypoallergenic. So they're also good for around your eye area. I've been really loving these. So I'm actually going to use that to remove everything from around my eyes first. And I'm actually looking into a camera that's behind, or a mirror that's behind me. And just in doing that, you guys should be able to see like how easy that's taking my makeup off. And these are so refreshing on the skin. It just gives me kind of like an extra feeling of moisture on my skin as I'm taking my makeup off. Which, if you haven't watched me before, I do have normal to dry skin. It's pretty normal right now, but sometimes I can get dry around my forehead area and around my nose. Those are kind of my trouble areas. So I always like to make sure that I get all my makeup off at night. All right, so once you have that all done, so I pretty much have all my makeup off. Um, one thing that I sometimes use, I'm not going to use this today, but I do generally use this. I had used it the other day, so I don't use this every day. So it's the sen Simple. This You can get this at any drugstore or Walmart. Um, it's for sensitive skin and it's a foaming cleanser. Um, there is, I believe this is paraben free. 
Let's see what it says about it. So it's a perfect blend of our purest possible skin-loving ingredients and multivitamins. It helps to gently eliminate sorry, impurities, remove makeup and excess oil while maintaining the skin's natural moisture balance. So this basically you just dampen your skin and then squirt a little bit out. It has a pump on it. And you just massage that into your skin and then of course rinse off. So it's a pretty um, basic cleanser, but I've really been loving this one and it's pretty affordable. Like I said, you can get this at the drugstore or Walmart. Um, and yeah, I just been really liking this. My next step is fairly actually new to my routine. So I got a sample of this Shisutio, probably saying this name wrong. I always butcher the name of this company. Um, but I, I know them and they're in some of the Sephora's. I think they're in more of the products are in the Sephora actually in the States than they are in Canada. But this is called an Ultimune Power Infusing Concentrate. And I actually got this in a Vox box from Influencer to test out and I've just been really liking it. Um, it reminds me of kind of like the essences that you get in Korea. Um, it just feels really moisturizing on the skin. It does seem to help like firm the skin. Um, which I really enjoy and yeah, I've just been really liking this. I may eventually purchase the full size, but it is a pretty pricey product. So that's something that I would have to kind of decide down the line. But yeah, let's go ahead and apply some of this. So I usually just take a little bit on my two fingers, dab that all over my face. It does have a nice like scent to it. It's nothing too overpowering. So if you are sensitive to the scent, I don't think this would bother you, which is kind of nice. And this is supposed to be good for like anti-aging benefits as well and like fine lines and wrinkles, which is great for me. I always put a lot around my forehead area just because like I said, that's one of my dry areas. All right, and then one thing I also do is I use some of the Clinique Moisture Surge Hydrating Supercharge Concentrate. So I've used quite a bit of this, as you can see. I've been using this for a while now, and I quite enjoy it. So I'm just going to take about that much, and we'll do the same thing. Now, if you are someone with oily skin, you probably have a completely different routine than me. Um... You could check out Nikki Joy. She tends to have more oily skin. Um, Casey Holmes here on YouTube um, does as well. So they're great channels to watch if you have more oily skin. But of course, I like it if you enjoy my videos as well. Okay, so I let that seep in. Now, I do sometimes do an extra step. I don't always do this. I've talked about this product before. Um, it is the Bright Booster Oil Elixir. Um, this is a fairly organic product that's from Physicians Formula, and this is supposed to kind of brighten under the eye area, and just like your general complexion. Now, I do like to use this mainly under my eyes. I do get dry under my eyes sometimes, so this really helps out with that. So it just has a little dropper. And this product's pretty underrated. Like, I never, I never actually hear anyone talking about this product, and this is actually pretty good. You can get it at your drugstores, on Ulta. There's a lot of places you can pick that up. So I usually just massage that under here. Sometimes I'll, I took a little too much. I'll put this down a little bit. But if you are oily, you probably wouldn't want to use that, but it is really nice for under the eyes. And I do have, I have noticed a difference in under my eye area since I've been using this. All right, guys, so that is my full like skincare routine. Sometimes I add like a few extra steps just depending on the day. Sometimes I'll do like more of an exfoliator on my skin, um, a mask, just depending on kind of the day and what I feel like doing. But yeah, that's my basic routine that I do when I take my makeup off. You've seen how easy it was and yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to take this headband off and then we'll come up and do kind of the wrap up to this video. All right guys, so I'm back. So I have my hair back kind of down for you guys and this is kind of my completely bare face, my eyebrows and everything off. You can see how like non-existent my eyebrows are and why I have to fill them in, but <laughs> you get to see my bare face, my skincare routine kind of, and just kind of what I do. I thought it was fun to kind of do an un kind of get ready with me where you always see the get ready with me's on YouTube. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you really liked it, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up down below. 
it really does help me out and I really appreciate it if you guys do that. Also leave me a comment down below. Now keep an eye out. I should have another video up this week. I'm hoping I'm planning to do a collab video actually with someone here on YouTube on a new holiday, um, the treasure box um, from Tarp Cosmetics. So that should be up this week. I'm really excited for that and definitely stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.